here welcome to twinning and living tv um today i am coming to you guys with a grocery haul uh i would say for me i consider it my healthy grocery haul um so if you feel like it's unhealthy then you're welcome to change it up or i'm just kind of giving you guys an idea of what i eat and for my weight loss so i'm gonna be good i got quite a few stuff here you know but i'm gonna go ahead and start with all of my cold items all of my meats and things if you're a vegetarian then there's definitely some vegetarian options in here um okay or vegan so here first i got these like little beef bites this is something that was not on my list it was just um an item i picked up and it's mm -mm, it's like supposed to be like lean boneless beef and i thought maybe i could put this with some rice um some white rice and it'll be pretty good season it up a bit um that's one of my proteins another one is the ground turkey I would probably, you know, you can make this in a low carb quesadilla um, or any type of quesadilla with some cheese. Um, you can put this in the morning with the egg scramble. You can do all types of things with ground turkey. And also I can make that with some mixed veggies and rice. I love rice. Here I have salmon, bowl of salmon. These are individually packed, but these some of these pieces are like really big. Like some of them might just get cut in half. It smells like fish. Some of these might just really need to be like cut in half <laughs> for like portion control. Because my issue is I'll like eat a bunch at one time. So my goal is just to kind of divide it up and go ahead and mix it with some healthy vegetables and some healthy starches and then also my other fish is flounder and these are also individually packed and these are my well they're not packed oh uh, they're kind of loose they loose no these are loose but this is my other fish that i also eat flounder is pretty thick and i find it very filling sometimes i have to be in the mood to eat salmon so it's good to have a variety of meats to eat so you don't get bored. Well, this is cold here. Another thing that's cold I have is the sweet potato fries from Alexia. I love fries. Like to death, I love fries. You probably, it's probably not best to fry them. It's probably best to bake them, but I like the taste of them fried. So if you use like maybe a lower fat oil, maybe like canola oil or olive oil, it's a little healthier. But I personally enjoy these more so fried, defeating the purpose. But um, to me, it's a little healthier than any regular potatoes. So I mean, that's just me. You're not supposed to fry them. Are you taking my food? Ariel's right in front of me, so I'm like, why she taking my food? Anyway, <laughs> she's trying to help me out. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> oh, Lord, the frit Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so look. Where'd the potato go? Okay. So I got three big sweet potatoes. You used to call me on my cell phone. That's what I look like. But these are sweet potatoes. I'm gonna make sweet potato mash. Um, so basically you just boil them and then you add some cinnamon, some butter, um, and all whatever, extra brown sugar. Um, some people use regular sugar. I'll probably use brown sugar uh, for sweet potato mash. And that video may be coming to you soon to show you guys kind of how I make mine. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm gonna get it later. I can't believe I just dropped a potato. But, yeah. And then here we have some cheese. Um, this is Food Lion brand. You got some mild cheddar. And you got some Kobe J. And it's basically made, you can make some tacos. You make his ideas. You can just add it um, to whatever entree you're making. It's cheese, so it is what it is. Gracias. 
And then let me go into here we go. So because I work like sometimes eight to sixteen hour shifts, I like to have some to go meals. If I don't really want to take my meal prep, I'll just go ahead and get some frozen foods. So I do like lean cuisine. Um, sometimes I'm just in the mood for straight pasta. So I got the lean cuisine macaroni and cheese. I feel like it is really good. I love their pizzas. I got the spinach pizza. Um, then I got shrimp alfredo. And this is something that I love Thanksgiving food. So this is the glazed turkey tenderloins with whipped sweet potatoes and dressing. So I thought this would be a nice treat to eat if I'm like really hungry, which is basically all the time. Thanks, mom. And then also, as far as this really needs to get in the freezer, this is the Weight Watchers English Toffee Crunch ice cream bars. I've never had these before. Um, I actually thought it was a banana, but it's not a banana. It's, it's actually low fat ice cream, but it looks pretty good. It's only 70 calories. Um, what does it say? For two bars, it's five grams of saturated fat, so I have to watch that. And um, but for one bar, for one bar is two point five grams, um, which isn't too bad. I got this to kind of keep me away from too many brownies and cookies and things. Um, but like I told Ariel, if I'm really craving a cookie, I'm gonna go to Insomnia. Like I probably won't get twelve cookies, but maybe one or two. It wouldn't hurt. I won't die. So, um, it's okay to treat yourself every once in a while. Just don't go too cray cray. Um, and here, I just got some, um, this is cream cheese. Um, both of them. This is the garden vegetable and this is the strawberry. I got these for my everything bagels, which are way over here. I get the Thomas brand, um, everything bagels. Um, and the alternative to, you know, uh, less unhealthy carbohydrates, I would say, would be the bagel thins. The only reason I didn't get the bagel thins was because they weren't everything bagel thins. <laughs> they were just plain old, like, regular ones. And, nah. I was like, I need to be filled. So, I just chose the bigger ones. This morning, I did half strawberry, half garden vegetable because I didn't know how, what I was in the mood for. So, that's basically what I ate this morning. Um, and here I just have two peppers. I have an orange pepper and a yellow pepper. Um, I like these more than the red or the green because these see, these taste a little sweeter to me and I feel like they taste really good in a stir fry or with meat and some rice. Like this just, and they taste really filling. I, I love the way orange and yellow peppers taste. Did I already show my bananas? And I also got bananas. And I use the bananas for like oatmeal or just to eat a banana put in cereal uh, to me it just thickens everything up and it makes everything taste really filling so that's why i really like bananas but i haven't got them in a while because i felt like they would probably go bad but i'm actually going to eat them this time so that's what we're, we're, we're going to go through with that oh thank you and here we have lemon lemon I thought the lemon is very, uh, very versatile. Like I was gonna use it for water and also to put on some fish. Um, I thought it would really bring out really good flavor. And you know, watching Food Network, you just want to be a chef every time. So that's why. But lemon is good for you. Good for the digestive next um we have mashed potatoes literally these were five for five okay these are five for five and i have not tried not one of these flavors but we're just gonna go for it and we're gonna see how much how many servings these make these make four servings these make four servings for somebody but they, I've got different flavors like the sour cream and chives. I got two of those. Um, and then butter and herb I wanted to try. And then roasted garlic and parmesan, the baby red potatoes. And I feel like they would probably taste really delicious, especially when I put my little mix on it. Put the mix on it. 
gonna taste real, real good. Um, so far, I'm actually finished with all my food, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of my drinks. Um, I typically, well, I would say I typically don't buy soda, but it depends on my mood. Um, so I'm actually gonna try the Bolt House Farms Blue Goodness and the Bolt House Farms Daily Greens. Um, hopefully this tastes good because I don't really like the way celery tastes, in all honesty. Um, I'm not a fan of kale either. I don't like the way kale tastes, but it said green, it said veggies, so I was like, this is a good way to get my veggies in without feeling like somebody's sticking a fork or a knife to my head. So I'm gonna try this. Um, maybe I'll help with my digestive system. Ariel told me it makes her poop, so I was like, oh, well, it must be good. It does. It must be good. <laughs> and then the blue goodness, like it looked like something pretty sweet that I can get with aside from drinking juice or soda. So I thought this would be, it has an eight serving. So I thought it'd be something really good and healthy to drink. As far as my milk is concerned, um, I drink soy milk uh, because I'm lactose intolerant. Um, but with some things, I kind of make an exception just because it tastes good. But regular milk tears my stomach up, so I just go for soy milk or almond milk. Um, I use Nature's Place unsweetened original almond milk. Um, depends on my mood, depends if I'm in the mood for vanilla or not. Um, that's a little sweeter and it tastes really good. Uh, but I put this in like cereal because my cereal to me, like I have special K cereal, to me it's kind of already sweet, so I just add a little bit of that, eat some cereal. You can also add it to oatmeal if um, you want. So, um, this is the chocolate soy milk. I mainly got this for after post workout. Um, I thought it would really help with, you know, my muscles, muscle growth. Um, and it's not your typical protein shake. You can add it to a protein shake, but I just want to. I just want to drink a little bit of this after my workout because usually after my workout I don't like eating anything so this kind of gets something in my system still keep my en energy levels all right um, and leveled so it looks pretty good though this is pretty good I love chocolate, I love chocolate. anyways that is a, oh la 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 that's the end that wasn't that long Oh shoot, okay, so I thought that grocery haul was gonna be a little long, but it was actually pretty short. Um, that's just, oh shoot, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, rewind. Um, I forgot I got this. Uh, this is uh, Mrs. Dash Table Blend. I was sitting in the store and with Mrs. Dash, she had like a table blend, an original blend. Um, I've never had either one, but I go based off of smell when it comes to seasoning. If I don't like the way it smells, I'm probably not going to get it. So I like the way garlic salt smells, season salt, like not like not that everybody likes the way black pepper smells, but I still put it inside my food. Um, but this smelled um, like it had more flavor to it. So I got this rather than getting an original blend and I thought it tastes really good on the fish or any of my meats. So I definitely got some of this and veggies and vegetables. And you guys, that is the very end of my vlog. Um, I heard to show you guys kind of how I meal prep a little bit. Uh, that probably won't be coming like right, like right after this video, but maybe in a few days or preferably later this week. Um, Cause the beginning of my week is a little busy. But um, I pray that you guys continue to go on this journey with me and continue to watch me as I grow in this journey and as I drop some poundage. Um, may do a little weigh-in video for you guys so you can kind of see where I start and see where I finish. All right. I pray y'all be blessed. Stay focused. Stay motivated. And love one another. And love yourself. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Great night.